Today we're going to talk about false steelhead and what color row bags to throw for them. I'll, go, I'll be going over all the colors I use and which colors I prefer for them. So my favorite color for false steelhead slash winter steelhead is this blue. I love the blue egg sacs for some reason. It just looks different in the water depending on what color water you're fishing. It all depends as well. Like if I'm fishing really dark chocolate milk water, like mud, I didn't want to go to like a yellow. This is a pale yellow I have. Um, or like a chartreuse. Or like this isn't the good, the best example but a pink or like I mean even your yellows will show up pretty good in the water um but yeah and then for like clear clear water you'd want to use darker colors like I guess you could use that for dirty water too but like your clear water is your reds and like I'll throw blue, blue and dirty water. So reds and blues for dirty water, or clear water, I mean. Purple for clear water. Uh, and then salmon for clear water. Here's another, it's peach or salmon. Um, but yeah, so that's all you really like. Clear water colors. And you, these. These are all your muddy water colors. So, like your yellows and your oranges and pinks. Um, <clears throat> and, like, you guys use. You can use thread. Like, there's elastic thread out there. By Blackbird, Raven, Blood Run. I like the uh, the Blackbird thread. Comes like that. And as you see, I've, I've got a good amount of it. Um, another good thread I use. Mike's thread comes in a tube like that. Um, Alice Mike also makes another thread. I don't really like it as much, but it's just because it's a little, it's a little thicker than the Blackbird stuff. But I got it in red and orange. <clears throat> and for steelhead and trout and all that there's there's like bait scissors or like cutting scissors you can have for your row bags a small set of scissors to keep in your kit um, I usually have those a nice big long set of scissors for cutting the squares and cutting skein, as you can see. Um, also, for like cutting the little tag ends off the row bags, I got a pair of little tiny scissors. These are like craft scissors from the dollar store. And then these are um, Blackbird scissors, I believe. Uh, I prefer these ones. They're they just have a bigger finger point. And like, my fingers fit in there easy and there's lots more room. Where I always feel I'm getting really close to the butt. Another thing with these ones I like is I feel like I can hold, like, I can hold the mesh tighter to the blade. 
And then there's some people that also use these. This is a spawn sack maker tying device. But pretty much it's two pieces of metal that slide apart like that. And you set your piece of mesh on top. So um, show you a demonstration actually. Just have to find a piece of mesh. Anyway, you take your mesh like this, set it on top. I'll just take these floaters for an example. Take, say, four or five eggs. These are floaters. So, just using these eggs as an example. What I'll do is set them on. You set them on there and then you push them down through and then you start to close it keep pushing them through and then you close it and what I like to do is I like to spin this mesh so it gets a little tighter around them and then from there you can from either that side or the other side and tie your thread what I do is I feed the thread down through and then I can tie it on this side makes it a lot easier on my my from my experience that is um, other than that it's really it for talking about row and then for the row bags just because I have them here, I might as well continue the video. For the row bags, I like to throw hooks like this. This is a little on the small side. But they're like size 8 Raven Specialist hooks I like to use. I believe this is one of them here. Just a little straightened out. Just one of them there. That's a specialist hook or a wide cut. And on my row bags, I like to run a bead above, just a couple inches above. So there's a 10 mil. That's what I'll fish in the dirty water. And um, these would be clear water beads. So these are natural colors. It's anywhere from eight mil to six mil. I believe this is the eight mil that's in I believe uh, peach, like cl clear peach or something. And then this is sucker row. That's a six mil bead. But yeah, that's it for Steel Slayer TV. I'll see you guys on the next video. We'll be trying to make out, make it out for another steelhead trip. Last trip didn't go as planned, we didn't get as much footage, I didn't have the, the equipment with me that I needed to make the video. Um, I don't have chest mounts or anything right now, hopefully getting that stuff for Christmas, who knows. But, like I said, tight lines, see you on the next video, Steel Slayer TV out.